Here is my security news roundup for the week ending December 22nd, 2023. Google's new tracking protection in Chrome blocks third-party cookies. Google on Thursday announced that it will start testing a new feature called tracking protection beginning January 4th, 2024 to 1% of Chrome users as part of its efforts to deprecate third-party cookies in the web browser. The setting is designed to limit cross-site tracking by restricting websites' access to third-party cookies by default. Anthony Chavez, Vice President of Privacy, Sandbox at Google, said, The goal is to restrict third-party cookies, also called non-essential cookies, by default, preventing them from being used to track users as they move from one website to another for serving personalized ads. Read more at thehackernews.com. New Chrome Zero Day Vulnerability Exploited in the Wild. Update as soon as possible. Google has rolled out security updates for the Chrome web browser to address a high-severity zero-day flaw that is said to have been exploited in the wild. The vulnerability, assigned the CVE identifier CVE 2023-7024, has been described as a heap-based buffer overflow bug in the WebRTX framework that could be exploited to result in program crashes or arbitrary code execution. Clement Lassine and Vlad Stoliarov of Google's Threat Analysis Group have been credited with discovering and reporting the flaw on December 19, 2023. No other details about the security defect have been released to prevent further abuse. Given that WebRTC is an open-source project and that it's also supported by Mozilla Firefox and Apple Safari, it's currently not clear if the flaw has any impact beyond Chrome or Chromium-based browsers. Read more at thehackernews.com. ByteDance is secretly using OpenAI tech to build a competitor. ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, has been caught using OpenAI technology to advance its own large language model, The Verge reported. According to The Verge, ByteDance's move isn't just frowned upon in the artificial intelligence industry, it violates OpenAI's term of service. Customers aren't allowed to develop any artificial intelligence models that compete with our product and services, according to the terms, nor can they use any method to extract data from the service other than as permitted through the APIs or application programming interfaces, which allow developers to use GPT to create their own applications. Read more at businessinsider.com. Insomniac Games suffers major leak of 1.3 million files and full game slate. Insomniac Games has suffered a major leak of its internal data with details of its game slate and gameplay of its upcoming Wolverine game released by hackers. Cyber Daily reported that 1.67 terabytes of data in 1.3 million files were released by Risada, a ransomware gang that allegedly stole the data in a hack. Insomniac Games has made big hits such as the Spider-Man 2 game, that was nominated for Game of the Year at this year's The Game Awards. The leak included level designs, character art, and internal company presentations on unannounced Insomniac games. Wolverine is reportedly due to ship in 2025 as part of an X-Men trilogy. The data also mentions a third Spider-Man game, a game based on Venom, and a new Ratchet and Clank title. Read more at VentureBeat.com. FBI takes down Black Cat ransomware, releases free decryptor tool. The U.S. Justice Department has officially announced the disruption of the Black Cat ransomware operation 
and released a decrypted tool that more than 500 affected victims can use to regain access to files locked by the malware. Court documents show that the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation enlisted the help of a confidential human source to act as an affiliate for the Black Cat Group and gain access to a web panel used for managing the gang's victims. In what's a case of hacking the hackers, the confiscation effort involved collaboration and assistance from multiple law enforcement agencies from the U.S., Germany, Denmark, Australia, the U.K., Spain, Switzerland, and Austria. Read more at thehackernews.com. New Go-based Jaska Go malware targeting Windows and Mac OS systems. A new Go-based information stealer malware called Jaska Go has emerged as the latest cross-platform threat to infiltrate both Windows and Apple Mac OS systems. AT&T Alien Labs, which made the discovery, said the malware is equipped with an extensive array of commands from its command and control server. Artifacts designed for Mac OS were first observed in July 2023, impersonating installers for legitimate software such as CapCut, other variants of the malware have masqueraded as any connect and security tools. Read more at thehackernews.com. Comcast discloses breach affecting about 36 million accounts. Comcast has confirmed a security breach affecting 36 million U.S. Xfinity accounts, according to media reports. Comcast said that hackers exploited a vulnerability in third-party software provider Citrix, which is used for remote network access, according to a December 19th Wall Street Journal report. The breach occurred between October 16th and 19th, exposing usernames, hashed passwords, names, contact information, birth dates, the last four digits of users' social security numbers, and secret questions and answers, Wall Street Journal said. Read more at kiplinger.com. This week's must-see on my YouTube channel. Is that online store real? You might be surprised. The new trend in online fashion, an increase in counterfeit boutiques, understanding them, recognizing the signs, and actions to take if you're scammed. Please watch my video on that topic by following the link listed. Did you know Clarence Leonidas, known as Leo Fender, inventor of iconic guitars like the Fender Stratocaster, didn't actually know how to play the guitar? Pam Cooking Spray, introduced in 1959, wasn't named after a woman named Pam. It was an acronym for the inventor product of Arthur Meyerhoff. Peace and justice are two sides of the same coin, thanks to Dwight D. Eisenhower. Just thought you might want to know. That's a wrap for this week's Security News Roundup. Stay safe, stay secure, and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye, and thanks for watching and listening, and have a very Merry Christmas.